I'm someone who studied in the Malayalam medium school. Oh, really? Yeah, and I always thought ki that I'm gonna go bigger places in my life. So I was so concerned about the fact that I'm, stu I'm studying in a Malayalam medium school. So that I, I was so clear my English is not good. And even now, I don't think my English is so good. So I tried to learn. So I understand that you... Hey everyone, today I've got Riyas Salim with me. And the reason I have Riyas with me is that he's someone who speaks more English than he speaks Malayalam. And let's ask him some questions related to English, how he learned English. So Riyas, uh, are you ready for this? Yeah, of course I'm ready. Okay, so my first question to you is that like, uh, when did you decide that you should learn English. Okay, I don't think there is a particular incident that made me feel I need to learn English so badly. But, you know, I, I'm someone who studied in a Malayalam medium school. Oh, really? Yeah, and I always thought ki that I'm gonna go bigger places in my life. So I was so concerned about the fact that I'm, stu I'm studying in a Malayalam medium school so that I, I was so clear my English is not good. And even now, I don't think my English is so good. So I tried to learn so I understand that you, as a kid, you are aware that you are going to go places, mm. you're going to be successful. <laughs> so you <laughs> knew the importance of English and you of needed to learn the language. Oh, that's exactly. inspiring. You see the confidence level of a kid. <laughs> so, um, okay, first you decided to learn English and then what were the steps that you've taken to get there? Because, you know, being an English medium student, I struggle to speak English. Okay. So I can imagine <laughs> what a Malayalam medium student must have gone through. So, yeah. uh, like, what did you do, like, literally? So I don't think there are or there were proper, proper steps I followed to learn English. But still, there were a lot of strategies that I've implemented to learn or to improve my English. So uh, the first one, I would say, I was never scared of the judgment, like what people would say if. I went wrong at some point of time. You're to be not honest, of making mistakes. yeah, I, I was never afraid of making mistakes. Mm. I make mistakes all the time, you know. So even now, mm. but there were a lot of time where people always used to point out my mistakes. I'm like, it's okay because my priority was to improve mm. my language. You You're know, not concerned about what people what people say. will say okay. exactly, okay. and uh, also making a network of people who speak in English all the time, that's also important. That's point number two. Yeah, I can say <laughs> because <two. laughs> uh, if there is no reciprocation, there is no point sometimes. You mean uh, you have to, you know, be around friends. Yeah, who speak. who speak good English. Yeah, exactly. And try to communicate with them. Yeah. And also, just because you have this thought that you have to make a network of people who speak English all the time. Mm. And if you can't make a network, that's also fine because mm. you don't have to bother that you're not getting your response all the time. So I can't speak, mm. you know, I am someone who speak in English to all the people who respond in Malayalam, oh. you know, because I don't care about the response, you know. So you talk to people in English and they respond, respond in Malayalam, Malayalam and it's okay for me. And that's okay for you. Oh, that's great. <laughs> And like, have you ever faced a situation where someone uh, would come up to you and say, I want to look at the English? Oh, all <laughs> the time. Like that? All the time. Mm. You know, if you're speaking in English, that means he's like a Jada person. Jada person. <laughs> How do you deal with that kind of situation? I don't deal at all. Just mm. ignore, you Just know. Ignore it's not necessary that we have to change the image of us in someone's, someone else's head. <laughs> all right. So that was like two points from you, yeah. two uh, tips for our audience. So anything else that you'd like to say? Communication is the key. Of course it is. Practice. You know, practice, practice, practice. Just listen and practice, watch English movies, mm. listen to English songs, read books mm. and communicate okay, with your so you friends. Read and you read? I don't read much, but I do read and, you know, I, I do read like blogs and all. Yeah, not really books habit. to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but I would suggest everyone should read books, especially if you are someone who badly want to learn English more. Mm. Then if you need nice vocabularies, mm. you should read more. All right, so let's sum up what you said. Uh, like you gave out three messages, three tips. Point number one is to not be afraid of judgment. Yeah. Uh, mistakes never to pay together, just speak English. Point number two is to create a network of people with whom you can converse in English, with whom you can practice speaking in English. And point number three, which I think is the most important one, uh, which is don't be, don't be concerned about the response. Just speak English. That's it. So thank you, Riyas Salim. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for your time. Thank you, thank you so much. English House. English at your fingertips.